And St. Pete is a place where we are seeing a lot of damage now this morning. And that's where Lenny Supal is live uh, at the trough, which took a beating there, Lenny. Oh, it definitely did. And this morning we're getting an up close look at the damage. You can see the dome of the Tropicana field ripped to shreds and you can see what's left of it. It's an eerie sight. The home of the Tampa Bay Rays sustained major damage. The Teflon coated roof blown off by Hurricane Milton's powerful winds overnight. Tropicana Field was transformed actually into a temporary housing shelter for first responders. More than 10,000 cots were lined inside the field as a safe place for them to stay, many from out of state. Also, downtown St. Pete, there's damage widespread. We saw a massive crane topple onto a building there at 400 Central Avenue. A condo going up there has been going up for the last year, and those massive construction cranes unfortunately had to stay. Mayor Ken Welch said that it would take a specialized crew at least one week to pull down those cranes so they remained and clearly no match to those powerful hurricane force winds that tore through the area. Many viewers woke up to the noise. They said it was a terrifying scene. So I heard a very loud sound and an explosion. The crane that was up there just fell and landed somewhere over there with an explosion by the Wells Fargo. No one was injured in that crane collapse and the developer, the Red Apple Real Estate Group out of New York, says they are currently working with city officials as they assess the damage. So we'll continue to stay out here, but we saw many light poles down on highways on 275 South, as well as the mm -hmm. Pinellas Gateway. So if you don't have to be on the road, stay inside. We'll keep you updated throughout the morning, guys. All right, Lenny Supal live at the trough this morning. Thanks, Lenny.